I'm afraid this time I'm deviating from the open source model. I'm using Adobe Photoshop, which is proprietary software. Um, several open source solutions exist, um, and the technique is similar. I'm creating a new document. Uh, I've downloaded some observations and, and ideas on localization from the web for this project. I'm just I'm going to make them 612 by 768 pixels. That's eight and a half by 11 inches. It's the same size as letter paper. Next, I select my text tool and I drag a box over top of my image, which gives me a typeable area, an area in which I can type. And I can change the size and the font uh, before I type or after I type. Let me type a few couple words here. And in Photoshop, I can click on the swatch of the color in order to get other colors, color chooser. And I can select a color. And I can keep typing, or I can reformat the font. I can uh, I can pretty much format this font uh, uh, and this text any way I want to. I can copy and paste text in from elsewhere. There's italics, maybe a slightly different color, slightly different size. Here's the uh, slightly different color. Similar shade. In this version of Photoshop, you commit your changes uh, and you can save your file. Now, there's a simple save as. This allows you to choose from a wide variety of file types graphic file types. The ones that are valid are CompuServe GIF, JPEG, JPEG uh, and PNG. But there's a better way. It's the save as web file. Yeah. Save for web allow, opens up a screen, gives you a number of different options and preset uh, save types. All of these influence the size of the file. Um, for our purposes today, we're not too worried about the, the f size of the file. I like PNG. 24 preserves the color very well. So I'm choosing PNG 24. And uh, the screen also allows me to change the size, but I have no interest in changing the size today. So I'm going to go back to 100% and save my file. And that's something I can drag and drop into SketchUp.